Getting off to a flying start is the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? The action is next on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And today, it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Portugal, and they take on Czechia. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Bruno Fernandes, an early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, as the replay shows us, Fernandez picks out the pass to beat that defensive line. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Andre Linger. Vanjara. and the keeper not really taxed by that long range shot Palinha now they have possession in a good area of the pitch and a goal an end to end game and they weren't behind for long well here's the replay and as you can see this is almost perfect lots of curl and enough pace on it the keeper had no chance so underway again here on the back of that leveler Pepe read it well and the defenders know they need to get tighter. It needs an accurate cross. Thumps clear. Well, it took a deflection. That'll be a corner. Trying to deliver it accurately and knocked out of there. And the flag has gone up. Well, he has to work a lot harder to stay on side there. He didn't read the situation at all. Bruno Fernandes has it. On the ball, Rafael Leal. Ruben Neves. A oh, super piece of play. And a decent delivery. And a confident clearance. And this situation could be dangerous. Come quite hang on. Marvellous anticipation. And he's fired over the corner. Immediate priority to clear the danger. Well, no way through in the end. Has someone to play it to. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now.
and just losing control of the ball and it will be a throw in Ruben Neves well read to win possession back Dudera definitely look as though they want to make this move count and players waiting in the centre can he get them the Well, just look at this. It's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Diogo Dallo. Palinha. It's with Joao Cancelo. And he read it superbly. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, that's a decent-looking attack, this. He's in with a chance. Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway at 3-1. Over the touchline for a throw-in. That's that, Czerny. Options in the centre. And did just enough defensively. Not totalling up all the stoppages. We'll have two additional minutes. could really get at the opposition corner kick forthcoming trying to pick out a teammate and the problem not completely solved and so it is then well as they get the ball rolling again Interesting to see how the second half pans out. Distributing it well. well Taken away, he won the ball. Dudera. How about the cross? Can he put it away? anticipation and he's kept it out fully stretched somehow reaching it who can he pick out oh yes a goal exactly what they were looking for and he's come up with it well not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things 4-1 oh that's splendid play and it's opening up and a goal Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Andre Linger. A creative look about this. The referees must be 
Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. What a commitment to defending. Playing it in. And well positioned to clear. Already closing him down here. Now plenty of live football. What a chance you. this is, Derek. Oh, it was there for him to take the chance. Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position and defending as a unit. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, who can he play it to? Save, but still a chance. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo feeds it. But not quite what was needed. I really thought they were going to open up the defence. Well, no stopping him. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. It's there for him. Keeper getting the touch. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. This has been a top-class display today. Just look how many chances they've created. And if they want to... Oh, look they... at this. They must score. Oh, another one for them. And with plenty of time still remaining, this game is very much back on. Well, here it is. 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. And they get the ball running again. The tails are up as far as Portugal are concerned. Tomas Tvanchera. Dudera. Top class defending. Just ten minutes remaining here. Joao Cancelo. And let's see what attacking position. It's not too late for them. This could level it. Oh, he couldn't finish. At such an important juncture of the game as well. Well, that's a big opportunity missed. And you have to question whether they'll get another. Time very much ebbing away now. Adam Kloje. And a shot. Huge block. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. But it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Crossing opportunity. Clear foul play. And as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Into the box it goes. And he clears it out of harm's way. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Well, late in the game here, they know what they need, and that's an equaliser. And the referee makes it official. Well, this hasn't gone Portugal's way. Not at all what they had in...
heading for a showdown. Two teams who thrive on pressure and performing on the big occasion. Now they get their wish. Fans the world over are fully focused on this atmospheric stadium where the drama is about to be played out over the next 90 intriguing minutes. Who will prevail? It's coming up live. Well, the weather forecast has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's a crucial encounter for them because the worst-case scenario today is that they'll miss out on the knockout stages here at the European Championship. It's Turkey up against Portugal. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such a big game for them. Lose today and they're out, no doubt about that. So they have to play better than they did in the first match, which was a big disappointment, really. They're certainly going to be anxious here. Oh, what a clearance under pressure. Had to react and did. A look then at the starting 11. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And they might forge ahead. Clears it away. Well, here's the truth of the matter. The visitors haven't lived up to their billing during the group stage. And they know the awful position they find themselves in potentially. They could be knocked out of the tournament in the group phase. Yeah, they need a big result today just to give themselves a chance going into the next game. They've struggled so far. They've been really poor. Pretty simple for the keeper. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. Chalanoru. Enes Unal with it. An alert intervention. Well, conceding the throw in. Good challenge. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, he's lost it. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Oh, great goalkeeping! Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. Short corner taken. It's a perfect challenge. Ferdi Cadioglu. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Magnificent defending. Bruno Fernandes has it. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Now he must favour the cross. Otavio. And they find a gap in the defence. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Now well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Yeah. 
Shara Nolan. Can he play it in? Oh, fancy footwork. Real chance. Splendid defending. And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now, let's see if they can level it up. Well, he's also showing him the yellow card. Yeah, he had to make the challenge, but it was always going to be risky, and so it proved. And now to level the game. And there it is! Perfectly executed! And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back underway here into the second half. I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge, and it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. And that's going to be all for him in this game anyway, Stuart. And if they're not careful, it could be all for the team as well. They're going to be under a lot of pressure now. Neves. Opportunity here. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Just the challenge that was required. Cristiano Ronaldo. Diogo Dallo. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now what can he do from this excellent position? Leal, on to Jota, cutting it back. Neves, and back with Bruno Fernandes. Stopped a surefire goal. Meat Muldur. Well, no shortage of live action coming your way right here on EA TV. And Stuart and I looking forward to being with you for this match. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium. And two very good teams. Opportunity to level it. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. In a decent position now. Muldur. Jota. Here's Ronaldo. It's a promising move from Portugal. grabs off the keeper and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save so a personnel change then they favoured a short one here happy to take on the shot and given the defender's touch the referee says corner 
and the short option preferred. Now veering in field. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here's the replay, and it's a well-worked corner. They go short, change the angle, and then put the ball into the box. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Yifan Chan Kavecchi. Moving forward effectively. But they took care of the situation defensively. Bruno Fernandes has it. Joao Cancelo. Just ten minutes to go. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Excellent defending. Diogo Jota. Pepe. Joao Cancelo, a foul but advantage played, Ruben Neves, Diogo Dallo on the ball, fed over towards the back post, and the flag has gone up, offside, and a substitution in the offing. Mehmed Zeki Celik. And the referee says that will do it. It is a win for Portugal, just what they were hoping for. Stuart, you're over. Aspects of the game. They defend. The group stages are winding down, but knockout football is still on offer. It's all to play for. Let's see how this one unfolds. Where have you completely covered the live action is next on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And an important date for them today, because progression to the round of 16 here at the Euros is on offer. It's Georgia up against Portugal. Yeah, thanks, Derek. What a game this should be. Final match of the group stages, and only a win will see them through. Can they do it? Possibly, but I think it's going to be tight, nervy, and very dramatic. I'm looking forward to this one. Joao Cancelo. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And here's the Georgia lineup. Well, it's a 5 3 2, really, because both wing backs are more defensively minded, which could leave the front two without any service from the wide areas. That could be a problem for them. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. A 
And how about the short corner? Cuts it back. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Leal. Could play it in. Neves. Now with Silva. Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. Well, just to reiterate, it's all on the line for the visitors. Last game in the group stage for them, Stuart. Can they stamp their ticket for the knockout phase? Yeah, it's in their hands. They just need to hold their nerve here and get the job done. Ruben Dias. A quick thinking to win it back. Diogo Dallo. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. And keeping the ball out of their own net can lift confidence throughout the side. <laughs> Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Leal. Can he put them in front? Schengelia. Georgi Kocharashvili. Levan Schengelia. And a goal it is! How significant could that prove to be? So back underway, having conceded. Let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo Silva. Leal. Cuts it back. Kiteishvili. Ota Kakabadze. Will he play it in? Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Ronaldo. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Trying to up and up the defence. And they put themselves... Can he make it count? And a goal! Ideal for them. And now it makes the prospect of the knockout seem very real well here's the goal again and it's a great ball to put him through good vision to set up the chance and the finish is clinical he just makes it look so easy doesn't he So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match.
And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Jota. On to Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo. Top class defending. Schengelia. That's a good ball. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Opportunity to take the lead. And a goal it is! How significant can that prove to be? Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Bernardo Silva. Bruno Fernandes has it. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, he's walking a fine line. No caution, though. Well, the referee's made it quite clear, hasn't he? Next foul, and he will get a booking. Schengelia. Georgi Kocharashvili. Well, we're into the final half hour. Take it away. Bernardo Silva. Bruno Fernandes. This could be the equaliser. And a goal! And now they're in control of the situation. Can they see this through? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Georgi Kocharashvili. In the right place to cut out the pass. Well, the minutes are ticking away. And just to confirm that with a draw, they will make it through to the knockout stages. Yeah, it's been a tough group and today's been no different. They just need to hold on here and hope that nothing changes in the other game. This is going to be a nervy finish. Looking tentative. Well, that's common sense refereeing to play advantage. Georgi Kocharashvili. Otar Kakabadze. Moving into the advanced position. But nothing comes of it. Rafael Leao. Ruben Neves. Here's Ronaldo. Joao Cancelo. Can they push ahead in the closing stages? It's still there for him. And a very good challenge. Not giving him a moment's peace. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. And a substitution in the offing. Otar Kakabadze. Kiteshvili. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Very alertly winning back possession. Five minutes left. Good looking sequence. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been foiled. How pivotal could that be at this stage of the game? Well, it was a good save, but that was the chance to win the game there. That could be their last opportunity. 
under making a change. And over it comes. Oh, disappointing clearance. Having to shoot. Stopped a certain goal. Well, if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. Bruno Fernandes has it. Intercepted effortlessly. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated, and goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. The magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment. That's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd. Not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. Don't go anywhere. We'll have all the action live on EA TV. Welcome to this first knockout round game here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. My name is Derek Ray and sharing microphone duty with me as ever is Stuart Robson. And I'll tell you what, this promises to be a terrific game to commentate on. It's the Netherlands up against Portugal. 
Yeah, we're now at the business end of the tournament, Derek, and both these teams deserve to be here. But which will have that extra bit of quality? It should be a terrific game. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. Corner awarded. Going short. Gonna get a try. A smart stop here. Well, you think about Portugal at the last Euros and they stumbled in the round of 16, losing to Belgium. Every reason to believe, though, that things might go better for them this time around. Well, I have to say, I like the look of Portugal. They've got some very good players. They've got a good game plan. They defend well all over the pitch and they create opportunities. If they play well today, they've got every chance of getting through to the last eight and maybe going into the semi-finals. Depay. And played in. And there it is! The opening goal! The ideal way to start! So, back underway. Having conceded, let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. And space here on the flank. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Tajani Reinders. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? And a chance to level it. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Short corner it is. He takes aim. They favoured a short one here. And making the run to the inside. Oh, a smart stop. Another corner. And played short. What a vital intervention. Fine work from Portugal to win back possession. This could square the game. And the flag has been raised here. Well, there can't have been a lot in that. And there to intervene. De Jong. We're getting the ball forward. Well, a long-distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Bernardo Silva distributing intelligently. Well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. What did the referee think of it? And it is red. The referee left with no option but to send him off. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Derek. I think it's a poor challenge. He had to go for that. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. did his job so Portugal behind but now what can they do with this corner
and taken short. Now just the tackle that was needed. Daniel Malen. Tajani Reinders. It's with Kopp Mainers. Good tackle. Ronaldo. Leal. On to Bruno Fernandes. Oh, to level the match. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. So back underway following the equaliser. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And he was very keen to give them the advantage, but instead it will be a free kick now. We're using the space really well, but now can they push on? Magnificent challenge to win it back. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw in to come. The pie. Getting into position to collect it. Very quick thinking there. And teammates around him. He'll try his luck here. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. He's driven in the corner. And really, it had to be further away from the keeper. And easily intercepted. Tajani Reinders. Can they exploit the space out wide? He cuts it back. Well, from that sort of range, he really should be testing the keeper. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Bernardo Silva. Here's Ronaldo. And they have possession again. Well, no point in stopping play. Advantage with them. Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Portugal finding space on the wing. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Mark Flecken. Depay. The keeper's delighted to see that sail well over the bar. Goal kick. Silva. And the ball back with the Netherlands now. 
Well, shielding the ball admirably. Now can they make something happen? Not the best challenge, free kick. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Can they forge ahead? Determined defending. Pressure applied. Can they make something of it? Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Diogo Dallo. Bernardo Silva. Rafael Leao. The Netherlands recovering possession well. Well, out of play, under pressure. Well, the possession tells you everything. Nothing really to split between the two sides. It's been an enthralling encounter up to now, with both teams playing some really good expansive football. You just wonder if the coach will be looking at that and how they can tighten up at the back, as it's been chance after chance right now. Yes, I mean, they're matching each other, attacking blow for attacking blow. And you saw the situation developing. Cristiano Ronaldo. And quick thinking defensively. Cook Mainers. Ake. Simons. They keep working away, looking for passing lanes. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva. Opportunity. And in. Oh, yes. Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then the finish from Bernardo Silva demonstrates his ability to make the right run at the right time. What a good goal. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Into the final 20 minutes. And a timely intervention. Advantage played. Well, that's how to shield the ball and control it. Well, sloppy in possession from the Netherlands. De Jong. Well, he's won the ball. Good idea. Fallen for Ronaldo, and he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him, and no wonder he's enjoying himself.
Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball, and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. And the referee sensibly allowing them to carry on. Advantage with them. Portugal being afforded too much space here. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. tackling like that the onus is on the referee to take action potentially and it is a booking and their approach is nothing short of feisty well they have to keep their discipline here they can't afford to lose another player and a substitution in the offing Hit it with authority, and it was on the target, but the keeper up for the task of saving it. Xavi Simons, just wanted to get it out of there. Now, well, maybe room here for the counter attack. Splendid ball from Ronaldo. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. De Jong and the pie on the ball uh, plays with a positional sense that is second to none well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes well it's great when you can rely on your keeper and that's a corner And played short. Well shown inside. And not an attempt he'll be terribly proud of. Frankie de Jong. And there it is, the final whistle. And Portugal certainly aren't going home just yet. They've progressed to the next stage here at the Euros. Well, the result was never in doubt, was it? They controlled the game from start to finish. They created numerous chances and they dictated the tempo. A very comfortable win for them in the end. And on the back of this, no doubt about it, Cristiano Ronaldo generating headlines. Well, what a great display that was. He really did inspire them to victory today.